Real quick before we hop into the video, I just want to say if you've checked out my second channel at all, you might have seen this video on that channel. And the only reason I'm even uploading it to this one is because it's a very broad tutorial that I feel like would help out a lot of people. It was one of my most viewed videos last year and I figure, hey, if this helps at least one person that doesn't know about my second channel or doesn't find my second channel, then that makes me happy. That's really my goal with putting it on this channel is helping out at least one, maybe two people. Because this was my most viewed tutorial last year and with the game coming to Nintendo Switch, I feel like there's going to be a lot of new players who are searching for information like this and I just want to make it as accessible as possible and hopefully get as many eyes on it as possible and hopefully help as many people as I possibly can. For this video, I want to show you y'all how to level up your ball player in MLB The Show 22. Be sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're not already, comment down below maybe any questions or tips that you might have for other people to see, or maybe they could help answer your questions if I can't get to them. But we're here, MLB The Show 22, we got our ball player right here. I already have one made, but I'm going to show you guys a little bit of how this works. So pretty much you want to go to the top left if you want to create a ball player or a road to the show. I believe it will let you create one when you start a new one. Yeah, you can set up your ball player, but I'm just going to go ahead literally and go up here and just create a new ball player. So what we want to do once we're on this screen, okay, if you already have a ball player, you can make a new one. That's what I'm going to show you guys here is kind of the process of making a ball player, but then you'll get to this screen. So you want to just start by making your ball player. You can go to that top left icon on the main menu and then you can create a new ball player and it says create ball player you're about to set up a new ball player that can be used in modes such as road to the show and diamond dynasty let's do it and i know some of this stuff is kind of common sense but i'm just making this video in the hopes that it helps at least one person if it does then i feel like i have accomplished the goal that i've set for myself now you get to choose if you want to be a pitcher, a two-way player or a position player and this really matters for leveling up your ball player because whatever you choose, it will give you options. And then each of those options will have a program for you to level up and progress your ball player. Kind of like last year where you will level it up. Once you get to the max tier, then you get another tier. And I'll kind of show you guys how it works. Let's just choose position player to start. Let's just do that what we want. And I'm going to go fielding. I kind of want a fielding focused ball player. So I'm going to do fielding and I kind of want him to be a catcher. So now we have our fielding archetype that is where your program and leveling comes in and we're going to finish and go to his appearance this you obviously just make it however you want i'm going to keep it on what it is right now because it doesn't really matter for the sake of this video and after you've made your ball player you get to this screen now once you're on this screen to see how you level you need to go to lowdown so this little icon right here where it says lowdown you got to click on that and then you'll notice when you're on this little archetype right here this is the fielding archetype you have multiple ones okay you see item program in the bottom left for me it's going to be square so i press square and we can see this is how you progress your ball players you go through this now once you get 100 points in this ball player program you get another archetype within this pack is a silver one of these archetypes so we have our bronze one, that's where the program comes in. And then once you complete that program, you get to a silver archetype and then you get a new program to level. At the end of it, you'll get a gold one. And then at the end of the gold one, you get a diamond one. And then you'll have a program for the diamond one that you can get maxed out, get some more perks, equipment, stubs, XP, stuff like that along the way. So that's how it works. You start at bronze. At the end of bronze, you get silver. At the end of silver, you'll get a gold. At the end of gold, you'll get a diamond. And then at the end of the diamond, you'll just get some more XP, stubs, equipment, ball players, stuff like that. So for actually progressing, because you can see here, you need 100 program points. Now, how do you actually get those program points? Well, you go down to the missions and it's all in Road to the Show. Last year, they had Road to the Show and Diamond Dynasty. This year, it is only Road to the Show, and we'll see. They said that this stuff should be more natural than the missions last year. But let's go ahead and just see what the missions are looking like. So the first one, repeatable, tally 15 plate appearances in Road to the Show. Repeatable mission again, every 15 plate appearances, you get three program points. Every 15 put outs, you get three program points. Every 15 assists... You get three program points every 12 hits you get three program points and all of them are repeatable except for this one right here 
Seven extra base hits, three. Four stolen bases, you get three. And then one hit, you get ten. So that's kind of funny that they have that in there, just your first 10 on your first hit, your first 10 program points. Now, these are going to be different for different archetypes and everything like that. If you chose a pitcher, you're not going to have played appearances and hits. You're probably going to have innings, pitch, strikeouts, stuff like that. So that's one thing to keep in mind. It is going to depend on the type of ball player that you have. Now, real quick, I just want to see something too. I want to see if maybe if I go to slugging slickster, if that might be different. I don't know if that would have a different program or not. I'm really not 100% sure. Um, I probably should have kept track to see if these were the same. And I guess I can't really tell if I haven't made any progress yet. But again, this program, this is all roaded the show. It is only roaded the show. If you're using your ball player in Diamond Dynasty, you're not going to be earning progress towards this program. Now, while we're here, I just want to go ahead and check a different type of ball player. I kind of want to check out... Uh, the missions for my power guy and then maybe a position player or a two-way player kind of see what that's looking like so let's go ahead and go back to this screen go to manage and then this is how you're changing your ball player if you have multiple you're on this screen you want to go to manage and then create or change ball player and we can see my active one right here kind of confusing because they got the same name but i can go ahead and choose this other one and let's see what his program is looking like because he's power he's not fielding so right here go down to his missions we can see the program looks i would say exactly the same but let's see his missions and this looks i think a little bit different am i crazy yeah one extra base hit for 10 this looks a little bit different so there's some similarities like the plate appearances stolen bases whatever but it's also a little bit different so now I want to create a two-way ball player and then see what that's looking like. Maybe do a pitcher, but we might just stop at the two-way. So create a new ball player. Let's go ahead and do it. Two-way player. And do we get two archetypes or no? It looks like we might. So for this one, I'm going to just make him... You can't use knuckleballs online. So I'm going to make just a velocity guy and then contact since I haven't done that one yet. So I want him to be a starting pitcher and a shortstop that's okay with me i'm fine with that finish go to appearance go ahead and finish him so we can just check out the program right away see what that's looking like so let's see how this looks so starting pitcher here and cheesy spark plug for the archetype and then we have our missions here and they include yo okay so that might be something to keep in mind. At the end of it, you get the cheesy spark plug for this one. But for the two-way players, that's kind of interesting to me. For the two-way players, they just have both missions. They have innings pitched, strikeouts, but they also have plate appearances, putouts, assists, hits, extra base hits, stolen bases, and then you get 10 for your first hit and then 10 for your first strikeout. I feel like that might be the move because you also get XP too. Notice that you get quite a, bit, uh, quite a bit of XP while you complete the program. So this is a good way to earn XP. But in addition to earning XP, you're going to get it a little bit faster if you're doing a two-way player. Because you have multiple missions, you're not having to switch back and forth. I feel like that might be, honestly, a, a good way to start earning some XP, kind of progressing your ball player a little bit. But... I hope this video helped at least one person out there. Again, that's my goal of it. Just kind of giving a rundown, a quick, simple, basic tutorial for any new players who are maybe unfamiliar with how to level up a ball player within MLB The Show 22. Again, if you have multiple of them, you just got to go to this screen and that's access from the top left, okay? That little icon in the top left. That's how I made my player to start. You can also make it just by going into Road to the Show and it will prompt you to set up your ball player, but... You go down to manage if you want to switch and then create or change ball player. And you can just switch to whoever you want to play with that day, whether it's in road to the show, whatever. All you got to do is do that. You can customize their appearance, pose, stuff like that. So I hope this video helped you. Like, comment, subscribe, social medias, all that good stuff. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll see you next time. Peace out.